real quick. As I was sitting there, um, Elder, Elder Jay had given us something um, for the leadership team as to uh, the floor service, right? And I was thinking, um, as the worship music was playing, and um, Sister Erica started playing, I was thinking to myself, it's normal for us to come and I was supposed to give the welcome, which I'm still going to do, so welcome everyone, right? But um, it's a normal thing for us to come to a service like this, right? New Year's, right? You know, the ball's getting ready to drop. So it's almost, as I was sitting there, it's almost like we get into this program, like we're just waiting for whatever it is to be said for us to move forward. So I started to think, why not we just open our mouths and begin to worship the Lord, even though Minister Damon's going to come and pray. But can we start to just reverence the Lord right now? Can we do that? Can you just stand to your feet? Let's come on. Let's just lift up the name of Jesus. That's our welcome. Let's welcome the Lord in. Let's welcome him in to this place. So God, we invite you in. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you. We want you to come into this place, into this, this atmosphere, oh God, and have your way in the name of Jesus. 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 We just want to set this place on fire so that you know that you are invited here. You are welcome here. This is your house, God. So, God, in this moment, we give you all praise. We give you all glory. So, God, we welcome you. Come on, let me hear you. Let me hear you now. Come on. Open your mouth. That's it. Come on. That's it. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, God. We thank you that you allowed us to come into your house to give your name glory, but God, we welcome you. Have your way, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's nobody like you, Lord, and we give your name honor. We give your name praise because you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. There's nobody like you, God. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't wait on me, come on. Give him what's due him. You have your own relationship with him, so let's open up our mouths and give the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, exactly what he's doing. Hallelujah. 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 You 
are worthy, Father. You are worthy, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we gonna come before you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just gonna praise your name, Father. Bless your name, Father God. Bless your name, Father God. You've done too much for us, Heavenly Father. But for us not to give you the praise, Heavenly Father. Someone didn't make it to this point tonight, Heavenly Father, but you allowed us to come in the building. Heavenly Father, you allowed us, you gave us the privilege, Father, to worship you right now, Heavenly Father. So we thank you, Heavenly Father. We praise your name, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah! Father, we can't praise you enough, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we had 10,000 tongues, Heavenly Father. It still wouldn't be enough to give you glory and honor, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just ask you right now, Heavenly Father, to move in this place, Heavenly Father. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us, Heavenly Father. Move in our hearts and in our minds, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, allow us to focus on you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, allow us to focus on your word right now, Heavenly Father. Father. Heavenly Father, we bind all distractions right now, Heavenly Father. We bind all principality, all wickedness, all rulers of darkness in high and heavenly places right now, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we are in tune with you, Heavenly Father. So have your will, Heavenly Father. Have your way in this place, Heavenly Father. Have your way, Heavenly Father. We bless your name, Heavenly Father. We thank you again, Father. We thank you for allowing us to be in your house, Heavenly Father. We thank you again, Father, for allowing us to be in your presence. One more time, Heavenly Father. We thank you for these things. We believe you for these things. In the name and by the blood, Christos Yahshua, Heavenly Father. Your Son, our Lord and Savior, Heavenly Father. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Heavenly Father, that he is Lord and Savior, Heavenly Father. And we thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. How many came with an expectant heart, with an expectant mindset tonight? Come on, y'all can talk back to me. Don't let this be. Don't let this be just another New Year service. So one more time, how many came expecting something tonight? So as we, as we move forward into this praise and worship, I would urge you to give God your best praise. It doesn't matter if you're a singer or you're, if you're, a singer or you're not. It doesn't matter. You don't have to sing on key. The whole thing is just to give God glory. Is that right? So I urge you because we are moving uh, to the end and moving into the new, right? So let's give God our very best. Do not sit down on him tonight. Is that all right? Can we, can we have that in agreement tonight? Amen. Nah, y'all can do better than that. Hey, listen, listen. We got, I got time. I can wait. Are we in agreement tonight? Come on, you can do better. Are we in agreement tonight? We came to lift up the name of Jesus. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Almighty God, the All-Sufficient One, the One that healed our bodies, the One that regulated our minds, the One that made our broken hearts. So let's give Him what's due Him tonight. Oh. 
been a provider for us. He's been a sustainer for us. He's been a healer for us. He's been a deliverer for us. He's been a way maker for us. He's been an all in all for us. How many know he's been everything plus more to us? Everything plus more to us. He's been all that I needed and even more than that. So we worship him today, God. As we get ready to cross over to another chapter. To a new beginning. I'm sure you can look back over your life, look back over this year. And you didn't know how some things was possible. You didn't know how you were going to get through through some things. But God made it possible. So I got to worship and give him my best. Because he continues to make a way. He continues to move. I worship you. Yeah, yeah. You are here, turning lights around. Uh -huh. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, cause you are way make miracle work, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You got a testimony, you should sing it with me.
never stop Even when I don't see it, you work Even when I don't feel it, you work You never stop, you never stop
you that you will call your saints back to the house, oh God. That, Father, the party starts here, oh God, and it shall end here, oh God. That, Father, that we cannot be out of your presence, oh God. That, Father, we must have an appetite for you. Oh God, I thank you for the leaders today, Father, that we will find ourselves cross-collaborating, oh God. That we will find ourselves, Father, being on one accord, oh God. That, Father, we will find ourselves stirring up this city, oh God. God, we thank you, Father. You're doing a clarion call, God, for your children to come back to the church house. Oh God, we thank you, Father, that you said, Father, if we shall hear no say and lift your name, oh God, that you shall draw unto all men. Hear no say. Hear the see. So, Father, have your way. Have your way. Hear the have, have your way, oh God. I pray for those, Father, that are on their way somewhere else. That, God, you will shake them in the spirit, Father. And they will find themselves in the house that belongs to you. Yes. Father, I even pray for those that have not heard your voice. Oh, yes. That as they're out here in the world, oh God, that you shall dispatch your angels, Father, to cover them, oh God, in the hour. That, Father, your people shall not be kept off guard, Father. But, Father, that they shall have the discerning spirit in the hour, Lord. That we shall hear your voice, Father, in this hour, O oh God. Father, we are praying for the church, Father. We are praying that the church is put back together again on one accord, O oh God. We are praying, Father, that the church becomes the priority, Father. We are praying, O oh God, that your people, Father, shall seek you in the hour. Because you are the way maker. You are the miracle, hit it, Osiah. Yes, yes. The miracle worker. You, you are the environment changer. You, you are the one that will show up, Father, on time, all the time. You, you are the one, Father, that kept us in and out of season. Father, you are one that dusted us off, oh Father, and lifted us up in the hour. You, you are Him. So God, have your way today. I pray, Father, for those that are in this house, that God, you shall bless us with your word, Lord. That you, you shall bless our mind, oh God. God, that nothing shall hinder us for 2024. But God, that we shall lack nothing in the hour. That Father, we shall have an overflow in the hour. Hit it, Osiah. That we shall do a thing in the hour. So, so stir us in the spirit. Blow some, some fresh wind on us, oh God. Remind us why we're chosen. R remind us why you called us to be set apart. Uh, re remind us why we are builders, Father. That we are children of the carpenter. That can take something from nothing and make something big. Yes. So God, ha have your way this evening. Yes. Allow us to have a, a Holy Ghost party, oh God. Uh, allow us to have a shift, Father. Hit the good side. I'm just, I'm just waiting for somebody to give God what belongs to him. That's all. Hit the I'm, I'm ready, but everybody's not ready in the room. Hit the Kurosai. Hit the Kurosai. Hit the Kurosai. Hit the Kurosai. We, we thank you. That's it. That's it. We, we thank you. This is the coldest Holy Ghost party I've ever been to. Come on. That's it. Come on. Stir it up in here. Come on. We, we, we came to shake, shake it up. We, we, we came to stir it up. We, we came to give God all that we have. We, we came to say, Father, next year going to be better than what this year was. We, we came to say, God, I, I need you right now, Father. God, I need a right now break you. God, I need a right now set it up. God, I need a right now tap of your power. God, I need a right now, Father. I need a right now with you. I need a right now encouragement. I need a right now of your 
need. I, I don't know about you, but I got a, a right now need. God, I need you to show up right now, Father. I, I need you to turn my house around, oh God. I need you to build my faith right now, Father. Oh God, what I'm hearing in my ear gates, Father. My flesh is trying to make me fearful, oh God. And so, God, I need a right now stretch in my faith, oh God. I need a right now, Father, stirring up in the spirit. I need a right now speaking in tongue, Father. English ain't getting
what's available to you. Come on. Whatever you know that you need in this season, it's available to you. Huh? God, God says, daughter, just stand up and then just stretch your arms. And I stood up in obedience. And I said, God, I, I can't be disobedient any longer. Because see, when you're in the spirit of God, you just can't sit in anointing like that. It's something that your body gets in alignment with the assignment. And I stood up and God stood up in me. And God says, if you just get obedient, I will stand up and stir up inside of you. I will begin to endow myself on you. I will begin in the word of God. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hit the wood, but I see it no sign. I dare y'all just to go here. you want to say good good God oh father show what you want to show father heal oh God who you want to heal set free father who you want to set free father allow the blind to see allow the deaf to hear allow the paralytic to walk there's some of y'all that's paralytic in your faith and God says baby I want you to get up and walk tonight I want you to walk that thing down I want you to walk by faith and not by sight so God allow the paralytic to walk in this and in Jesus mighty match his miraculous come on his miraculous name come on his miraculous name come on his miraculous name we, we pray this prayer we, we activate this prayer I pray that every soul that's in this building, if they lack something, God, you shall fill them up while they're here. That, God, they begin to do something different. If they get up and start walking, Father, let them walk that thing out. If 
they start to stretch, let them stretch that thing out. If they start to speak in tongue and get any other gifts, oh God, allow them to receive it just like this. Oh God, allow them to hold their imaginary cup and say, Father, just keep filling my cup. And if you're bold enough, go get you a cup out of the other room and say, I'm just looking for God to fill my cup. I'm just looking for God to fill me up. I'm just looking for God, come on, to stir me up. I'm just looking. Grandma, you might as well stand back up, girlfriend. We're getting ready to read the word. If you all can stand for the reading of the word. Hit the cross up. That's it. That's it. I like those. Hit the cross up. Hit the We'll be in the book of Nehemiah. Hey. Uh-huh. Nehemiah. Hit the cross up. The first chapter. Hit the cross up. Hit the cross up. Ne Nehemiah, the first chapter, beginning at verse 3. And then we're going to go to Nehemiah 2. And we're going to go down to verse. Verse 4. 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 When you have to say amen, if you don't say hold on. Amen. Bless your name. Bless you. Long time no see. Amen. Come on, somebody. Get the quarter say. Hey. Josh, you ready? Amen. All right. All right, Nehemiah, the first chapter beginning at uh, verse 3. And it says, And they said to me, The survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down and its gates are burned with fire. So it was when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. Verse 5, and I said, I pray, Lord, God of heaven, O great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments. He's just giving us a little, come on, example of how we need to go to God. He says, I say and I pray, O great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments, please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant which I pray before you now day and night for the children of Israel your servants and confess the sins of the children of Israel which we have sinned against you both my father's house and I have sinned verse 7 we have acted very corruptly against you and have not kept commandments the statutes nor the ordinance which you commanded uh, your servants Moses and if you skip over to chapter 2 verse 4 says then the king said to me what do you request he says so I pray to the God of heaven and I said to the king if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in your sight I ask that you send me to Judea to the city of my father's tomb that I may rebuild it Say rebuild it. Rebuild it. Verse 6, it says, Then the king said to me, The queen also sitting beside him, How long will your journey be? And when will you return? So it pleased the king to send me now, and I set him a time. Furthermore, I said to the king, If it pleases the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of the region beyond the rivers that they must permit me to pass through till I come to Judea. And a letter uh, to Absol, the keeper of the king's force, uh, that he must give me timber to make beams for the gates of the citadel, which pertains to the temple, for the city wall, and for the house that I will occupy. And the king granted, say granted, granted. them to me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Catch that. 
to the good hand of the God that is upon me. You all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We have the 15 and below. They own out the door. If you're 15 and below, you're out the door. If you're 15 and below, you're out the door. If you're 15 and below, and you know you got to go. If you're 15 and below, you're out the door. Boom, boom. Amen. All right, the title of this message is, It's important to know your season to build and when to support. It is important to know your season to build and when to support. In this text, we find Nehemiah who is demonstrating the Hebrew words derash and bakash of seeking God and his kingdom. Nehemiah was tapped into the sky view vision of heaven. He was serving as a high official for the king in the capital city of Persians and learned there was trouble in Judea. Nehemiah began to weep about the issues in Judea because he understood there was past defeat and present vulnerability. There were some who were following God, however, others had turned their back on submitting to the Heavenly Father. He pleaded that the Lord allowed his ears to be attentive and his eyes to be open. It is important to note that Nehemiah uh, had never been to where he was going. However, because he was in a true relationship uh, with God, he had the heart, the characteristic traits, and the discernment of God catch that he had never been to the place he was getting ready to travel but he learned that there was trouble there and he was getting ready to go there and because he had never been there and he learned that there was trouble there he had the favor of God and God was going to use him for that jurisdiction when you have the favor of God and you are in right standing with God and on the right side of heaven with God come on your hand, his hand shall be upon your life when you seek first the kingdom of God, the intel of heaven will be added unto you. Uh, that should have made you clap, shout, two-step or something. I will say it again for the people in the back. When you seek first the kingdom of God, the intel, the revelation, the understanding, the third dimension will be made available unto you. When you seek the kingdom of God, you get a level of dimension and understanding and revelation knowledge that the average person would not have but you have to first seek the kingdom and so Nehemiah was seeking the kingdom of God and he got intel from heaven uh, that there was an issue in Judea the text said Nehemiah mourned for many days now one would ask why was he so attached to a place he had never been to well I'm glad that you asked see before God calls you to build in a place you have never been to he must first build inside of you I will say that again when God is calling you to a new jurisdiction before you can go to that new place he has to build inside of you and there is a mourning that may take place inside of you because come on there's a, there, there's a fear that will try to rise up but God wants to get something built up and stirred up inside of you so you are prepared to go to the place you have never been when I was called to uh, this office, I remember crying on Pastor Franklin's old gray suit he had on. I, I, I was so nervous, and I had been mourning for a couple of weeks, uh, and the Lord said, today is the day that you go let your pastor and your assistant pastor know that I'm calling you to this place. And I remember rehearsing it at home, but there was something that was inside of me that I was so sad about because I didn't understand where I was going, but see Pastor Franklin, God will send some Pastor Franklins in your life that will help stir you up in the spirit, that will help get your mind right for a journey that you have never been on. God will send people that are in your life that will be along the way, that will be waiting on you to help stir the gifts inside of you for a journey that you have never been on. So he was stirring something up in Nehemiah. 
and, and ne ne Nehemiah had, had been weeping. Uh, but God says, I got to build in Nehemiah first before I send uh, him off to uh, a place. I, I got to build him up in such a way that he knows and understands. As I said with Joshua, I will say with him, uh, I will be with you. When God is calling you to build something, you got to have the right now and the right no to understand that he is with you. When God is calling you to build something, you got to have your ear to heaven. When God is calling you to build something, you have to go through your process. When God is calling you yeah. to build something, to go to a place you have never been, you got to say, Father, do what you need to do inside of me. Get my mind in alignment with heaven. God, I need you uh -huh. to build this thing uh, inside of me. Uh, now we know that our Heavenly Father is an all-knowing God and already knew that there was a, a need to rebuild the wall. However, he awaited to raise the right person for the right assignment. This assignment required a specific skill set. I want to help some of y'all in the building and some that are online stop trying to rush to assignments that God has not called you to. Wow. You want to wait on the ones that have your name on side of them. That is the problem that we are doo -doo -doo, seeing in the church today. They got people in the wrong position. They got intercessors trying to be pastors. They got elders. Who am I talking to in this season that's trying to be prophets? They got people, children, come on, that need to be fed, that's trying to feed other people. When you ain't called to that assignment, you are in the way of heaven. Uh, well. uh -huh. When you are not called to the place. Mm. I want to do something real quick. I need y'all to switch. Up. Uh, come on, switch. Switch. Okay. Now, uh, give me a mic. Yeah, give me me. No, neither one of y'all. Hit the drums and begin to prophesy. Come on. This, this is what y'all see right now yeah, in, yeah. in any old way. So let me help, help y'all out. Go ahead. Play, play it, baby. Come on. Do, do what you got to do. Hit that little
God to ordinate ordination come on services when you need to be in, in the, the prayer closet said father ain't no way you coming off your throne to ordain this ain't no way oh god you're coming off your throne and put little johnny up in the pool pit because his daddy died or his mama died and now it's turning over to him Bible says that uh, he weeped and then God favored him in that thing. And see, I decree and declare that the day is coming uh, that the preachers will get their strength in their back and sit the people down. I don't care that you know how to prophesy, but do you know how to pray? Because if you're prophesying in the flesh, you can kill a believer. I am looking for the preachers that will get in your face and get in your flesh and begin to stir you up in the spirit. I am looking for the leaders to say, yes, you can sing real good. But baby, your mouth is dirty. Ain't no way you gonna lift the father up on Sunday when you're cussing and chopping your toes on Saturday. Ain't no way God calls you to that assignment. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hey, uh, the assignment requires specific skill sets. Nehemiah was a leader who had great influence and the vision of heaven to get the job done. See, when you are called and chosen by God, you carry the favor of God. When you are called and you are selected and chosen, God has pointed you out. You will have the favor of God in and on your life. God will send the help. He will send the people. He will send the word. He will send the revelation. He will send the finances. He will send everything that you need in the season. He will send the checkbook. I got at least five people I can call if I need something for this bill. Raise your hand, Evangelist. Evangelist, ding, 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 ring a ding, ding. I need you to get the big checkbook, baby, because you know this assignment that is on my life. You better ask God to send supporters in your life in the season. Hey. You are in. So when you are called by God, you are favored by God. And God will give you everything that you need in, in, in your season. Nehemiah goes to the king and requests a leave of absence to handle king the business. Now the king understood that Nehemiah's assignment in, uh, in Persia was to support him. And his assignment in Judea was to lead others. Catch that again. Nehemiah's assignment in Persia was to support him to be the cup barrier. And his assignment in in Judea was to lead the people. See, you gotta get under the right leaders that know your assignment and know the order that's in your life. But see, many of y'all like just because they look good and they ain't got no prayer in their life. If I ain't in my prayer closet, I cannot lift and build you. I cannot release you. And God is calling the hour back to the church. See, there was a day that you didn't go on assignment without the approval of the leader. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the right. I'm talking real good and I'm going to offend the flesh. There was a time that you went to your leader and said, do you see it fit for me to go on this assignment? Is it okay for me to go on this assignment? But now everybody just doing what they want to do and the leaders find out about it online. Ain't no way you call me your shepherd and you are not, come on, consulting yeah. with me. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I'm not trying to control you. I'm trying to lead you. I'm trying to build you. I'm trying to encourage you. I don't have to be what I The bishop called me. He said, uh, daughter, I, I got a, a request for you to go preach here. He said, um, it, it, it came through and I actually turned down that request for you. And I said, okay, Bishop. He says, because some of the questions that were being asked about you uh, went from your preaching and, and how you uh, did and walked in the word of God to whether or not you were married and how long you were married. So I went ahead and turned down that assignment for you. I said, thank the Lord. Praise 
God. He says, now daughter, the next question I have for you, uh, do you want your uh, assignments? Do you want the request to come through the church? Or do you want them sent directly to you? I said, Bishop, you better send every request to the church because I need the shepherd to know what's going on in my life. Because if you understand, I know you're going to labor before me in prayer and ask God to cover me like the king in Nehemiah. And ask God, come on, who am I talking to? Nobody wants a cover anymore. Uh, they trying to hold me back. No, they trying to make you righteous. Because when you get in the real world, baby, you can actually hurt somebody. Somebody who had been contemplating suicide and you playing tingly wings up in the pulpit. And God is saying that he's calling his pulpit to be a sacred place. See, we have broken the pulpit and God says, I'm going to rebuild it again. I'm going to help them again. I'm going to put my anointing on it again. I'm going to make it a sacred to the king and request a leave of absence. Uh -huh. And the king, he understood that he had in the move of God on Nehemiah's life. And it's important to be connected to the, the right people who will submit to the move of God. Yeah. The king could not get in the way of heaven's business. Who, who am I talking to today? You all better understand when you are called to build, man cannot get in the way of your plans. But see, the world has taught us to want it right now, and we don't want to go through no process. Right. The Bible right. says, study to show thyself approved. And nobody don't want to show they self approve anymore. They just want to be validated by Facebook and buying check marks to call himself don't nobody know you for real what, what are you talking about we only know you in this way i want to know you when you come out in chromas i want to see the spirit of god on you there i want to see the spirit of god on you when you dropping it like it's hot i want to see that you don't drop it like it's hot and ain't where if anything can happen on saturday and then try to act like molly the maid on sunday ain't nobody don't know nothing about you So insignificant self at the cross, you're gonna see it at the cross. You put your calendar uh, up, up on the end. Who cares where, where you're going? Does anything in that calendar consist of you being in the prayer closet? God is saying, when you are called, you don't have to promote yourself yeah, right. like right. that. Right. When, when you are called, you, you ain't got to be in everybody's face, like in everybody's mess. Come on, showing up in everybody's foolishness, buying the books, they ain't got nothing in it. Showing up to the conference, it ain't got no content. Who am I talking to in the season? Don't you want the truth in your life? I said I was gonna keep it cute. All right. All right, hit the coro but I see it. Uh, so the king didn't get in the way of Nehemiah's heavenly business. Uh, now, before we go any further in the text, it is important to understand what a builder is. Say a builder. Uh, a builder is a person who constructs something by putting parts or materials together over a period of time. A, a builder can see what is broken and, and what needs to be fixed. Uh, it's also important to know that when God calls you to build on behalf of the kingdom, you will attract attention from naysayers. Uh, I'll say that again. When God has called you to build on behalf of the kingdom, you will attract naysayers in, in your life. That's right. Uh, Nehemiah 2 and 9 says, uh, Then I went to the governors in the region beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king has sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. When Sanballat uh -huh. and Harnite and Tobiah 
the Ammonite official heard, say heard, when they heard of it, they were deeply disturbed that a man had come to seek the well-being of the children of Israel. Catch that. Uh, they were deeply disturbed when Nehemiah had arrived on the scene. I'm trying to help somebody this evening. If you don't stop running from where God has sent you, they are deeply disturbed because they are where you are getting ready to build something in the hour. If you don't stop running from the anointing, you better get, come on, used to them being deeply disturbed in the hour that God has released you on the scene. You better, come on, get a strength in your back and not move off the wall because God has called you uh -huh. to the scene. They were deeply disturbed. I uh, see uh, what God calls forth from heaven's desk. It should be set apart from the rest. Uh -huh. Nehemiah was called to build the temple and set it apart from the rest. When you are called to build something, it will look different than every and anything else. That's why you must be careful with who you discuss your heavenly business Ooh. with. They will try to either deter you or give you advice to make your plan fit in with every Everybody else's. So you got to be real careful in 2024. You got to first seek the kingdom of God and then come on and his righteousness and then God will give you the plan. Stop asking Facebook, is this a good idea? Stop asking Nay Nay and them, is this a good idea? Ain't no way I'm taking heaven's business and asking an insignificant, some tiny believer. I got to get to the believer that's stretching before God Monday through and asking them to pray on my behalf. I got to get myself to an intercessor that all I got to say is pray for me and they begin to speak in discernment to say God is stirring it up in you and you get ready to enlarge your territory and God just wants you to get behind the scenes so you can be processed. I got to get around some intercessors in this season that don't need all the details of around some intercessors, some holy righteous but believers that got faith on them. I had a girlfriend who I have that's currently in my life. Uh, she had uh, lost her job and I didn't know. Hey, the quote, oh, sorry, I knew something was going on but didn't know what the something was. And even every week she was sowing into my ministry uh, the first year uh, while she was out of a job and she said I didn't tell you because I didn't need you to focus on that. I knew that God was doing something in you and on you and I want to be a part of it behind the scenes. God says I'm going to call people that's in your life that want to be supportive behind the scenes. I'm going to call for some people in your life that's going to be supportive and pray for you. I'm going to send some people who will go and turn over their lives to get to you. She ain't had no job. Uh -huh. And she was sowing big money uh, into, the, into the church. Now, that may not be a big deal to y'all, but I got people sitting in the church. Come on, that won't give a dollar. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about the ones that ain't here. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, God is saying, Pastor. He says, I will send the help. Uh, 
which means you ain't got to prostitute yourself. Oh. You, you ain't got to fake it in, until you make it. All, all you got to do is seek ye first. Oh, yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all shall be what is it? Say it again. Added. All shall be added unto you. When you are called to build something, it, it will look different. Uh, when, when you are called to, to, to build something, uh, it, it, it is going to require you to see it, it different. When I was called to open chosen, uh, uh, God told me it had to look different. Uh, not that what was already out there. He says, I'm doing a new thing over here. So I had to let go, come on somebody, to what I know and then depend on what he was saying. Uh -huh. And see, many of you will be able to stretch into the things of God if you let go of your, your intellect and tap into the spiritual intellect and just trust God. In, in, in the hour... He made it clear that it would not look like every uh, other church. I just needed to seek the kingdom on, on the assignment that he had uh, placed on my life. He knew there was a need for the kingdom to have headquarters in this jurisdiction. He understood the people who were coming needed a specific something from heaven at this location. There was a need to prepare what had been broken or injured in the believers that belong here. He knew uh, that there was a need come on to build us up in the spirit he knew that you and I needed to be strengthened in the hour to complete our heavenly ordained assignments ne Nehemiah was called to repair and rebuild what was torn down now once Nehemiah arrived the people took suit it is important to understand this part those who are called to support the builder should submit to the blueprint of heaven's plan I will say that again those who are called to support the builder should submit to the plan the blueprint from heaven I, I have personally lost some members because I refuse to alter God's plan for what they had at their other such and such church and what they heard on TikTok and Instagram. I, I had to tell them, kind sir and kind man, God, God ain't had that for me. I, I would have them come bring me scriptures or what God told them and they didn't know that we were in the season of repenting. How God is telling you to build when he's trying to break some things off of you. So I'm sorry, kind sir. Oh, oh, on your, on your way. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to learn how to just, just bless people on their way. Uh, well, I think that you should probably do this in order for this and such and such to grow in your business to do X, Y. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, no, but if you don't do it, if you don't do it right now, uh, okay. Uh, listen, 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 so and so. While I appreciate that, I think you better you seek first ye the kingdom of God before you start getting my heavenly business. Because if you understood what was in my heavenly business, you trying to take me to supermarket and God is trying to take me to the nation. And so God is saying that I can't get caught up, come on, in your Cincinnati plans. I got to keep focused on the nation because I know when I was in the prayer closet, he told me I was being called to the nation. So I'm sorry that your little plan that you come on, develop on your cell phone, talking about me to God, that it is not going to fit in the bigger plan that he has for my life. Come on, you better take your cell phone and write a story about your life because your life seems to be out of order and my life. Uh, they don't like when I preach like that. Uh, 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 everybody wants to give you some great idea on your plan that God gave you. I'm sorry, when God was consulting about the plan for my life, were you invited in the room? Did he consult with you? Did you turn over your plan? Who am I talking to? It, it, it says, 
I, I'm just telling y'all texts. I'm not, you know how they do. Oh, she just, no, uh, it's right here. If you just read your Bible, it says, and come on, let's go there real quick. Nehemiah chapter 2, cha chapter 2, go, 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 go down to verse 11. I'm just trying to help y'all so y'all can start 2024 right. Uh, uh, it says, uh, uh, so, so I came to Jerusalem and it was there three days. Then I arose in the night and uh, I and a few men with me. I told uh, what does it say uh, 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 what, I, I didn't I didn't hear I didn't I, I did what, what what happened it says you, you told who uh, you told nobody okay it says I told no one what my God had put in what my heart to do at Jerusalem there are some things that you can tell nobody about I don't care how long you've been friends with them I don't care that y'all used to come on ride like a cat like and two flat tires or whatever that saying is, I do not care. There are some things, baby, you better keep that show him. There are some things that are between you and heaven. Yeah. 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 What, what does it say? Who, who did Nehemiah tell? I want to make sure y'all y'all be reading. What's that? What's that translation? What what version don't I like? Uh, the Bible. Which one is it? Yeah. it, it it's messenger. I just want to make sure you ain't got messenger. <laughs> Uh, let me help the saints. See, the pastors ain't even checking y'all scripture no more. Y'all just get anything. It says, it says in verse verse eleven where we at. Let me make sure she's in the right one. So I arrived in Jerusalem three days later. I slipped out during the night, taking only a few others with me. I had not told anyone about the plans that God had put. Okay, it's a little sketchy, but it did say you didn't tell anyone. Oh, okay. But look up anyone in Greek and Hebrew, okay, to make sure anyone is the same as no one. Who am I talking to? Preach pass out. I don't mind if I do. Let me, let me hurry up. Oh, hey, who am I talking to today? Hey. All right. We closing now. What time is it? Uh, hey. What's y'all say? Take your time. I don't mind if I do. Ah, come on, God. It says that he he told uh, nobody. And so God wants you to get to a point that there are certain things that are just intimate between you. Uh, and good. God, that's good. Uh, that's good. there are some things you you just got to hold on to. That's between you and, and, and God. Come on! And when God sends people in your life, uh, there are certain people you got to hold on to that you don't let the world know. That's in your life. I had to tell a friend. I said that we don't need to tell nobody else how close uh, we are because when they start to find out how close we are, then they get attracted to you to try to get to me and try to get entail about me uh, just based off of you and if you ain't tapped into the spirit you will begin to tell my business and you so glorified in yourself that they want you they just trying to get to use you Amen. Yeah. Amen. you better be careful come on who, who you got in your life come on in the cross, and certain things that you cannot discuss with me about minds. Uh, uh, what, what, where, where is so and so? And uh, I ain't never seen. Where is his wife at? Uh, what, what, what you need? Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, you, you got to have some strength in your back and stop being a jelly back and a gossiper. You, you got to be able to check that flesh real quick. What, what happened? Who, I, I, I dare y'all to ask somebody to ask about my husband to one of my closest friends and they don't check your real what happened who am I talking to yeah. certain things certain thing? you, you just can't tell Amen. nobody uh, so ne Nehemiah uh, was called to repair and reveal what was tore down now once he arrived, they, they took suit 
and, and, and God began to usher him into the presence. And Nehemiah took three days to go be by himself because he wanted to get himself right. Come on. You, you got to get leery of people who are anxious and, and urgently wanting to do something and don't know how to slow down. Uh, one thing I tell the leadership team when we are studying and we're sharpening iron with one another, I'll say slow walk that text. Uh, ain't no way you can pass all of this up to get there. Do you understand the beginning and the end? You got to slow walk some things so you can be building some things. And so Nehemiah took the three days uh, to go sit down so he can submit the plan to God to say, Father, am I still on the right track? See, God will give us an inch of the plan and we don't have the whole thing built out. He, he don't gave you the name of the business. You don't, you don't purchase the whole building. You, you don't hire the staff. And you, you don't even know what you're selling yet. God, God says take the time and go submit yourself. <laughs> to take the time to understand what he's saying to you. To take the time. Well, you know, Johnny, his business is, uh, take your time. Amen. Hit the cross site. We as the church need to ensure we are being part of the building and not the tearing down uh, of the kingdom. Those who are called to build and support the builders should submit to the plan, the blueprint from heaven. Uh, we, we have to understand that submission is you're submitting, subjecting yourself under the authority and the direction of God. You cannot go and get in God's seat. God is sitting right there. It's almost like you're taking God and telling him to get up so you can sit down and you can guide the plane. And many times we find ourselves when we're trying to lead self and not be led by the spirit. We find ourselves in situations in turmoil and wonder how we get there. Go to say. I always say when people come and want a meeting, what do I say to them, LJ? When it's a problem, uh, when they have a how did you get there? How did you get there? Uh. Your, your marriage is a mess. How did you get there? Your, your finances are a mess. How did you get here? We have to learn how we got there to get from there to oh, get somewhere. We have to learn how we got there to get from there to get somewhere. We got to learn how we got there to get from there to get somewhere. I got to learn how I got in this situation to get out of the situation to get away from the situation. You have to learn how you got there. So Nehemiah knew how he got there because he was following the instructions of God. Yeah. He was following the instructions of God. To build for the kingdom, you must be available to do the work. The Lord is tired of hearing that we have excuses and engagement and extracurricular activities of why we can't get the work done for the kingdom. If you do the work and seek first the kingdom of God, everything else will be added unto you. You have to submit to the plans of God and he will ensure that everything in your life is taken care of. We cannot, uh, come on, submit and, and then steal from God. Who am I talking to? You cannot steal uh, from God. Uh, we steal time from God when we're taking time that he's allotted to us to do the things that he has called for us. The Bible says, for I know the plans that I have for you. So if you are out of alignment with the plans, that means you are stealing time from heaven. That God has to reorchestrate where you were supposed to be, doing what you needed to get done, building where you were supposed to build, but instead you was over in boo-boo face. Come on, and the jelly back believe that you don't miss the heavenly assignment. We, we, we cannot 
we, we cannot, I'm closing now, we, 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 we cannot steal. It says in chapter 3 uh, that as Nehemiah got there and he was in instructing everybody to do everything, they begin to rebuild a, 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 a temple. See, when you know that you're called as a builder and you're anointed by God, you will influence others in the room. Come on, when you're honest about what's going on in, in your life that God has released you to share, come on, you will get somebody else in order. You'll be like, you know, my credit was messed up, baby. And now I'm saving and penny pitching every dime I got. I didn't know I can Kroger coupon. I, I didn't know I can go without Starbucks. You begin to stir something in another believer to say, I better start penny pitching too. I better start. Can you help me? Come on, coupon. Can you help me save a few dollars? Can you help me with my prayer life? What day is Bible study? What day do they pray? What day do they serve? What day? Come on. What day are they doing the thing? them in chapter 3 as he was building up they were building up uh, but there was one group I uh, didn't want to rebuild uh, the temple and see that's when God will begin to identify the fruits of other people you just got to pay attention is it a piece of rotten fruit or is it actually fruitful fruit who am I talking to if you sit around God long enough your discernment levels will be on 12 I ain't even got to go to lunch with you I know your fruit is rotten by the way you walk and talk who am I talking to so Jeremiah I'm sorry Nehemiah understood it where the rotten fruit was. Ah. And so, uh, as I was studying, God says, uh, when you are called to lead and you have a team that you're leading, you got to know the people that you're working with. Uh, when you learn the people that you're working with, you truly can identify the fruits that they have. Go, go, go to an outing with them. Come on. I really want to know how you are in real life. We, we are a little too intimate uh, in, in our team. We, we know everybody's stuff. Uh, we understand who was going where. God says, why don't you spend some time with the people that you're building with. That's right. That's and right. see if they are a worker or if they are a taker. Wow. If they're a giver or if they are a taker. See, people will take from you if you don't set a boundary. They will continue to take, 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 take until there's nothing else to take anymore. And if you let them take, 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 they may take you out. Uh, uh. If you, if you let them keep taking and taking and taking, they may just take you right on out. Uh, and see, God is saying, as a builder, you will upset people. Sam Ballad in chapter 4 became angry, and he began to try to distract uh, Nehemiah. That's he right. started writing. It says that he gave Nehemiah an a, 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 a unsealed letter. We know anything in the text that was a government official thing, it had to be sealed. And so he brought a fraudulent letter to uh, Nehemiah and said, hey, they found out what you was doing and you are out of basically and I'm paraphrasing, go there and read it. You are out of order and I'm going to tell the king about it. And Nehemiah sent a messenger. That's when you know you're real gangster. Who am I talking to? I, I don't have time to talk to Sand Ballad. Uh, come here, Elder J. Go tell Sand Ballad. I said to take his unofficial letter and his unofficial self and to get out of my way. Y'all better quit talking to Sand you coming up off your horse? You coming up off your wall to answer every set ballot that want to disturb because they're angry that God has put you on the scene? So Nehemiah didn't come up off his post. The, the strength of the laborers was given now. God will give us notice of the enemy. Uh, come on. When we are focused on the things of God, uh, he will frustrate the plans of the enemies that are in, in your life. So you ain't got to chase every demon. Come on. Some things that God will do himself. You, you ain't got to chase. God will show you that there's a mark on your back. But if you just keep seeking the kingdom of God, that God will frustrate your enemies that's in your life. You ain't got to answer every sand ballad into 
Tobias and any other naysayer that don't like the way that you are building. If you just stay up on the hill, come on, which come at your help, God will begin to frustrate the enemy that's in your life. God will begin to frustrate the plans that they have for your life. If you just keep looking up on the hill with the sky view, and if you call on the name of God, if you stretch out before God, and you seek the kingdom of God, and you say, Father, I want to be righteous, and you say, God, I trust you. He would upset the plans of the enemy. So, now, we, we have a little time that I want y'all to do real quick. Go get the box for me and the post-it note. Uh, this is for those who have not put something down on it. Uh, God is saying to you, in order for you to move into the flow, in order for you to move into the things that he has for you in 2024, you got to let go of some sand ballots, you got to let go of some Tobiases, and you got to let go of some behaviors if you don't let those things go come on God gonna let go of you so you better dig real deep down in your belly and say father reveal to me what I got to let go so I can drop in this box God is saying this is your opportunity to begin to drop in the box that cannot go along with you you don't need to make a vision board baby you better get the vision of heaven. You don't need to make a New Year's resolution. You need to resolve your inner issues. Who am I talking to today? So take your post-it note. And I'm going to pray for you. For real in real life. And, and write down uh, on your post-it note. And like I told them in this morning. A hit a gross eye service. Don't you write down nothing, Mickey Mouse. I am not wasting my oil on no lie and something that you can solve. Come on, yourself. I want you to write down the thing that you've been struggling with. I want you to write down the lie that's been trying to take your mind. I want you to write down the struggle that you have. You ain't got to add your name. Just add what's on the paper. Come on, and I will begin to turn over my plate for you because God says the only way we can go is up in 2024 and I just want to go up and be come on like God. I just want to have an overflow and lack nothing in my life. I just want come on the revelation knowledge of heaven. I want to be on the right side of heaven. I don't want to have no ism or no schism. I want to have faith that stretch from north, east, south, and west. I want people around me that believe and know how to build and support. I want to be able to move in the flow of God under the authority of God. I, I want to be able to do everything that God has called forth in my life. I want to be able to upper in the upper uh, dimension of God in heaven. I want to be able to know when God is in the room. I don't want to cry about things I cannot solve. I just want to trust God in this season in my life. I want to be able to stretch my prayer from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday to Thursday to Friday to Saturday. I want to be able to stand up on Sunday and say God I trust you yes and amen I want to be able to walk in 2024 knowing the plan that he has for my life I want to be able to walk in 2024 with no shackles on my feet I want to be able to walk in 2024 understanding the move of God in my life I want to walk in 2024, yes. come on, with a clear mind, yes. uh, I, I want to walk in 2024, come on, not stressed out, no. I, I don't want to be a no. fair weather fan, no. believer, come on, I, I don't want to be a jelly bat, come on, only saved on Monday and Tuesday, nasty on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I, I don't want to be the jelly bat believer, come on, promote chosen and everybody in the building is nasty. I, I don't want to be the, come on, the leader that's leading and bleeding. I want to be built up, come on, in my spirit. I want to be able to unpack and walk the text and pray the text and live the text. I want my 2024 to be real good. Come on. I want to go from seeing right here to seeing 
up here. I want to be able to touch heaven. Come on, conversate with heaven. Communicate with heaven. Come on, I want to be able to grab it and feel my cup. Who am I talking to? I want my place to the to be real big. I want the giants to show up. I want the supporters to show up. I want my mind to be big. I want my heart to be full. I want my feet to move. I don't
season. Now God says he has things for you in this season. If you just trust your leader and not think I'm trying to hold you back. Daughter, take one more step. Come on. I just need you to stand right there and trust God that God is going to lead you along the way. You shall be healed. Your mind shall be renewed. You just got to keep showing up and stretch your arms out. It may look far behind, but I don't been there. And God sent me to help you. So take one more step. That all I know, that college is hard. All I know, that your finances are tight. If you just trust God in the season, come one more time. And listen, the next season, close your Show us how to go away for three days to go off the map. 
so we can get the real plan. God, help us, oh God, to learn your voice, Father. Just not in giving us something, but Father, help us to learn your voice, God, and be corrected by you. Help us to learn your voice, God, to be stretched and processed by you. Help us to learn your voice, God, and to worship only you. Help us, to God, to fear only you. Help us, Father, to believe in the Trinity. Help us, oh God, to live righteously. Help us, oh God, to get rid of our flesh. Help us, oh God. Oh God, we need you, Lord. Oh God, we want you, Father. Oh God, we got to stretch out to you, Lord. Oh God, I need your holy name. Oh God, I call on your holy name. Oh God, oh God. Yes, God.
Father, we ask that you cover us in this new year. Oh, Father, we thank you that we shall seek first the kingdom of you, oh God. We thank you, Lord. For reminding us that we're builders We belong as carpenters Children, God, we can take nothing And make something out of it So God, allow us to make our 2024 Be yeah. submitted, Father Unto you from the heavenly assignment God, keep us from seen And unseen harm and danger God, don't allow us to lack anything In the hour God, we trust you and we believe in you Like never before That's the real love That one can turn, can come on, turn his head and stretch him wide for us he died so God we thank you for the love that you have demonstrated for us it's in Jesus mighty name yeah. now there may be one that's in the house or one that's online it little such that you have to either commit or recommit your life to Christ if that is you just repeat after me say Father I repent I welcome you in my life. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And with your dunamis power, you raised him on the third day. And God, you shall be the head chief in my life. If you just said that you're just giving your life to Christ, the second thing you need to do is get yourself in a biblical-based church. What sound doctrine is preached from Genesis to Revelation. Come on, somebody. Where the shepherd will keep you, cover you, correct you, elevate you, lead you, and encourage you. If you want to be a member of this house, raise your hand, Janelle. Get with Janelle. If you've been here three or four times, you remember, we just need to get you on paper. Amen. Come on, give God a hand clap. We will transfer going to tithe and offering. Come on. Get on site. You may have been here earlier, still sow a seed. Why? Because we go sow into what God is already doing in our life. There are uh, five ways I think you can give. It's on the back of the chair. If you believed in this word, that it was for you, you need to sow on the word. Amen. You can give by cash out, the simple give, the text to give, the Venmo app. And you can mail in or drop in a strong check. Say strong check. St no, strong check. Uh -huh. Got you going to the bank like you the CEO. Amen. Once you have your offering, please stand.
to thank all of you that's been with me this whole time. Those that you are newcomers, I thank you for God adding you to the kingdom. I thank you for the supporters. Come on, those that help in ministry, the lifting efforts at Chosen. I thank Chosen a leadership team. Raise your hand. Come on, give them a hand clap. Give them a hand clap. They do a lot behind the scenes. Come on. It's a lot to put up with me. Come on. Huh? I'm a hot cup of spicy tea. Uh-huh. All right. Now, uh, we're going to close out. Pastor LaVille is going to close us out. But we do want you to go over to the hospitality suite. We got some refreshments. What do we have, LJ? Wait, where's the wings from? Wait, okay. We want wing stop with the lemon pepper, right? Okay, not not bait. Barbecue. Okay, all right. Wing stop, fruit, and some other stuff, right? Amen. Make sure you get something. Come on, give God a hand clap. He's been real good to us. Y'all can do better than that. The way I sweat my hair out. Come on. Hey, that's it. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come on, let's stand. Here. Some of y'all got to be at work in a couple hours, including myself, so we're going to get ready to go home. Amen. Don't forget, Tuesday is men's Bible study at 7 o'clock, right here at Chosen. And then the following day, Wednesday, is our church Bible study, same time, 7 o'clock. So please make sure you come on out to some of those things. We got some exciting things coming up for this year. And we want all of us to be a part of it. Amen? Amen. We're praying for traveling grace and traveling mercies as you leave today. Make sure you stop at the hospitality before you leave. Please be safe driving on the road. If you're going home, be safe. If you're going somewhere else, still be safe. Amen? Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, God. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace forever and ever. Let every heart say amen. 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 God bless you. Safe travels. We'll see you Tuesday. Amen. Happy. <laughs>